You took a huge step, didn't you, when you when you took on Emily? You didn't see it as a huge step, but many other people did. Before I started working with Emily, I was chatting to Darren Cahill, who's one of the, the top Australian kind of coaches. He's worked with Agassi um, and many others. I was talking to him about, you know, potential coaches that could work with me. He said to me, you know, what about some of the, the top sort of ex-female players? To me, it was a bit of a no, like a no-brainer. And then it wasn't until I started working with Emily when I started to see the other reasons probably why there's not as many uh, female coaches. You realised quite quickly if you didn't do as well or better than you had done, that she was really going to get it in the neck. Before the French Open started that year, I got asked in a press conference, like, you know, who my next coach might be, and Martina Navratilova's name was kind of was put out there as a possibility. And that was then in the press that I was considering working with a female coach, and I started getting messages from other players, from their coaches saying, like, I can't believe you're playing this game with the media. Like, you should tell them tomorrow you're considering working with a dog. I never had experienced that before because I'd never worked with a female coach on the tour. When I'd lost matches previously in my career, nobody questioned my coach. It's always in tennis, generally, is the, the individual that gets questioned. And that wasn't the case when I was working with Emily. And it's kind of like one of my regrets. You know, I didn't win a Grand Slam when I was working with her for people a lot of people that was considered a failure. I feel like she was harshly judged by a lot of people just purely because she was, was a woman. Well, I, I think Andy has seen firsthand how people treat Judy differently because she's a woman than if it had been her, <clears throat> their father that was coaching them. And I'm sure that Judy had had a few talks with the boys as well. So they're very aware of, uh, of um, how women are treated differently than, than, uh, than men. I think what Andy Murray did uh, by hiring a woman as a coach is also a new door open. That's how to encourage them. Women have to believe also they can be great coaches because there are other women that, that show it. Uh, and I, I think it's a big part of it. A lot of them think it's a men's world. I don't have my, my place there. It's not a place for, for a woman. It is. It is also a place for women, and we have to show that. Look at the person. Don't just think, oh, they're a girl or they're a boy. Just look at the person, think about what that person has and the potential they have and where they can go. But we need more women in every single position because girls need to see them. To see it is to be it.